Hello there, gentlemen, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. All right, we're continuing our hunts. Just finished with the Roblin. So now we do the Overlord. Sure, why not? He looks kind of scary. Big old sword. Headless. Well, aren't they always? Aren't they always? Insecure Seek in Arcades is the petitioner. I'm looking to be more popular with the ladies. Figure killing a tough motor monster ought to do it. Just don't mention you help me out, okay? Let's go talk to him. So he's in Arcades. He's in New Arcades. Uh, don't we have an airship? Yeah, we have an airship to take us there. Better than go into old Arcades, I suppose. So that should work. Definitely don't want to take the teleport stone. Okay. And let's go that way then. Let's go and talk to this guy. Will he actually help us out, or is he going to be like the other guy who just pretends to help us and then doesn't actually do anything? Excuse me. Walk my way. Okay, we want to go from here to the airship. So back over this way. And then south. Okay. Oh, no, wasn't that a, uh, wasn't that a Viera last time? I think that was the last time we actually got, like, supposed help during a hunt. And it was like, oh, yeah, we'll totally help you out. And she threw, like, maybe, I don't know, two arrows at the thing. We had to deal with the rest of the damage ourselves. Yeah, let's board. Let's go to our Katie's there. Hopefully he throws in a, more than a couple of bullets. We do have Redis, though. Redis will help a lot. Okay, no maps here, because that's just confusing, apparently. Let's see where this bad boy is going to be at. Okay, so. We said it was on... It was near, like, the... Um, to the shop, right? It was near the magic shop? One's number 23. Oh, it's actually inside. Okay, it's inside the other shop. The, uh... I call it the trinket shop? I don't know if it's actually true. You gotta work, like, all the way... Okay, I wanna go north from... Not here. Here. It's a complicated path. And yeah, this way now. Hey, we still haven't gotten all the pine woods to get sandalwood. We probably missed out on like two or three guys around here. I have no idea who we missed out on though. All the way over here. Okay, so he was inside the shop. Or she, I guess. Oh no, somebody's trying to impress ladies. Could be male or female, we don't know. Could be a Moogle, in which case who could tell? Okay, so is it you? No. Insecure somebody, right? Here we go, insecure seek. I used to hear about the bill. See, I need to kill a seriously tough monster to impress the ladies. Not an overlord should do the trick. Only I'm not so sure I can handle it. Thought I'd call on some help. You ready? Don't want to keep the ladies waiting. Oh boy, you in or out? Sure, why not? You're paying the money, bye. We're running an overlord down the Soshin Cave Palace. Once we kill it, I'll be beating the ladies back with a stick. Pretty sure that's not how that works, but okay. Alright, down the Soshin Cave Palace would be past old Arcades. Means it might be worth it to take the cab. I mean, no, nah, we'd probably go. Yeah, let's go through old Arcades, do it that way. Like, taking the cab away from it to go towards it seems a little silly. Probably not the first time we've ever done that, but it does seem a little silly. And I would say, you know, using a teleport stone would also be a waste of resources, but we have like 80 of these. Like, I don't really... doesn't really matter. But here, we'll do it this way. All 
all the way back over this way. Go down to Old Arcades. And this should take us to Searching Cave Palace in the elevator, I believe. Uh, sure, why not? I'll save go and save here. I think there's a save at Searching Cave Palace as well, but... Just in case. I don't think we're going to get ambushed or anything, but you never know. It could happen. Probably not going to happen in town. Usually the towns are pretty safe. That's true for... I don't think like, there's any exceptions. Um, I think even in Final Fantasy XV, the towns were, like, dead safe, right? Like, there was actually, like, story reasons why they were safe. A bunch of crap going down outside the towns, but all, all the other town, all the towns were just safe as houses. It's an interesting expression, safe as houses. I mean, I guess you always think of your house as pretty safe, right? It's actually like a huge deal when it it doesn't when it turns out not to be safe after all. Okay, so here we go, searching Cape Palace. We probably see exactly where this is going to be. Also, be kind of cool if the Seek was with us here. Like, he joined our party as a guest. That'd be cool. Sadly, not actually a thing. Um, yeah, let's save here. We'll just overwrite the previous save. There. Let me go downstairs. Do a little neat little cutscene of the elevator working, and we'll see where this thing is. So now, we're on a quest. Both well, apparently bored. Don't worry, buddy. There'll be plenty for you to do down here. So I think these guys are probably way below our level. We're probably going to knock these guys out, no problem. It's until we get to the actual hunt. Okay, so. The Overlord is... Where are we? We are... I don't know where we are. Oh, we're all the way up here. Holy crap. Got a ways to go. I didn't even know there was a side passage there. Where the hell is that? Okay. I mean, that's quite the quite the change. I guess we could go to the Shisha Uplands instead. Um, if we go to the Shisha Uplands, like that might be might be easier. Let's see where the nearest teleport stone is. Soshin Cape Palace is up over here. Oh, yeah, we can go to the anchor point, apparently. That might be a little easier. Otherwise, we got to go through all this nonsense. And he's right in the middle of there. Yeah, okay, that would actually be easier, wouldn't it? Okay, go back to the elevator, then. Taking that teleport stone. Uh, here, there we go. Should have checked that beforehand. That's what I get for not checking. I guess then we could have taken the airship instead of using a teleport stone. That would have worked too. Oh well. And we could go all through here and just battle our way through, but it just seems like it's going to take a long time. I have to get two hunts done this episode if I can. Okay, yeah, lock in place. Very fancy. And now we teleport. Uh, nope. Teleport at the Social Crystal. There we go. Okay, so we're going to the Tisha Uplands. Great. We've been here before. Usually we want it to rain, but now we don't. Uh, so... We go south, then north, then north again. That should do it. This is only kind of south. It's more like a bit east. Surprisingly, not taking these guys out in a single blow yet. We'll get there. Seems like two two hits probably does it. Up on the north side here. Huh. 
sure. Go ahead and fight these guys. We're dead. Okay, please get the treasure. 54 whole gill. This might be a little faster. The slow hurts. It'll go away soon. It's only on Ash, but... Oh, that's right, wasn't I gonna... I'm gonna get quickness on somebody. Maybe it was Penelo. I think we've already got all the quicknesses we can get for everybody else. We're only missing it on, I think, Penelo, and that's it. Okay, we go on the side. There's only one way to go here. It wraps around a bit, but not by much. No while since has been on this side. Steal a quality pelt off him. Don't ask where he got it from. We go this way. <laughs> Even with the shell on, they're not they're no match for us. And okay, I think we want to go north, but sure, go ahead and do that. Okay. Remember when this place was spooky? There we go. Let's find this overlord. Don't want to keep the ladies waiting. Okay. Well, now we got lots of people in our party. Okay, so where is this dude exactly? Okay, he's tucked away on the western peninsula, kind of? I mean, what do you call it inside of a cave? Dead end, I guess. Okay. That should be easy enough to get to. These guys should die pretty easily. Yeah, okay, like two hits, if that. With a little mushroom thing there. All right. There are traps. That's okay. Since we outlevel these guys by a lot, I can't imagine the traps are going to be that troublesome. Bathier did just level up. Uh, that's okay, though. We want to get everyone to 46. Yeah, that'll be okay. Get everyone to 46. It's fine. Okay, yep, big old red dot, that's what we want. Okay, just some gargoyles, no big deal. Imps, gargoyles, whatever, same idea. Uh, we are going the wrong way. Go this way. You know what, take out the frog. I'd rather it, we didn't have any ads, and I don't know what that's gonna take exactly, but... And maybe this guy just drops. He does have bravery. We can dispel that. Um, let's go ahead and just buff up a little bit here. Put shell on you. And repeat that on you. Okay. Then protect on basically everybody. Not gonna worry about our seek friend. I've, chances are we can't do anything for him anyway. Okay, and then finally protect on Redis. Oh, we saw him. Okay. Wanna dispel, but that's alright. And dispel the overlord. There we go. We no longer has bravery on. We can just whip him into a frenzy. This is actually helping. Yeah, we got him. We don't even need to use mist. He's just dead. Oh, wow. He had like a... What the fuck was that? Alright. Well, um, Red is going to be a leader, I guess. Can we bring this lady back, please? Uh, Phoenix down. Ash. <laughs> Wow, okay. Okay. Frickin' death blows here. Uh, no, instead of Fron, let's bring in Penelo. Yeah, that might be better. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ash just dropped, that's fine. Penelo, you're up. And instead of that, we're gonna bring in Fron. I think you can finish these guys off. I mean, we can use a mist if we really need to. Holy fuzzy fucking cats. Are you shitting me right now? What is with the damage? I don't even know what the hell that was. Okay, friends alive, but that's gonna be it. You know what? Fuck it. Use a mist. 
Actually, you can just summon right here. Use some Hanzi. Oh, or just die, and the game's over. Fucking hell. You know, we were on the verge. I guess I should have just used a mist when he was down to a fourth. I thought for sure we had him, though. Okay. Well, let's pick it up from the autosave. We were on the frickin' verge. We were on... We had him. We had him. Guess we just gotta use a mist. We can't take anything for granted. Oh, it's Redis who leveled up. Up out the air. Alright. Take out these guys. These guys are easy. We just gotta make sure we don't have any ads. Uh, over this way. Okay, there we go. Big red mark right there. I got the Yikbion. Toad, whatever you want to call him. I got this guy too. Good. Okay. Now we buff up a little bit. Yeah, Balthor, you want to come over here? Thank you. Okay. okay Shell Bosch, for sure. Uh, maybe Shell's enough. Right, because to protect, he's barely doing any real damage. He's not doing any physical damage, what I mean. I think we shell Redis. Seek's already shelled, which is great. Okay. Then we'll slow down here. Apparently I'm not going too fast. Okay, so here's the deal. Redis, you're going to go in and attack. You are going to dispel, so he doesn't have Brave anymore. There we go. So he's dispelled. Great. Go ahead and cast Bravery on, like, I don't know, Balthier. So now he's Brave. That freaking massive attack, Pyromania. It's basically Faraga. Basically a giant Faraga. Okay, he's down to a fourth. This is where we use the mist. Looking right here. Let's take him out. Otherwise, he's going to do Pyromania again. It's going to be bad. Oh, come on, get some nose wind glow. Hey, we came up. He did it. He did it. We did it. We did it. We'll need to do this, like, probably five times enough to take him out. As long as none of these accidentally heal him, we should be okay. I never miss. And we can get as high as we can, of course, just to make sure. That'd be great. That one's pretty rare. We hardly ever see this one. As long as he's not, you know, healed by fire, that should be great. You're going to love this one. Keep expecting the Pokemon to be on that wave. Ah! All right, come on, get the next one here. Come on, let me. There we go. Charge. Great. Believe. We're not going to take any chance with this guy. As many as we possibly can, just wreck it. Kind of looked like I was trying to go for a headshot, but he doesn't actually, you know, have a head. He's straight to his backside. That works out. And finally, I think this might be it. No, we get another Fulmini Darkness, sure. Come on, stack him. What the hell? As long as he doesn't heal from dark, we should be okay. Same exact thing. Uh, we have no mischarge. Okay. Nine is still good, though. I'm happy with nine. 
Sure, drop some stones on his head. Rocks fall, everyone dies. He's still not dead, but he's almost there. Oh my fucking god. Okay, we did it. Balthier is the only one up. Oh no, Redis is still up too. No, Redis is dead. Friend, never mind. Redis is down. Wow. Well, I'm glad we took him out anyway. The Seek did drop though. Okay, we'll go ahead and use a Phoenix down to get Ash back up. And she can arise everyone else when she's ready. Um, mind doing the Raja first? If the regen doesn't actually... I probably should have had regen on everybody. That's probably one of the buffs I missed out on. There we go. Okay, we can also go fast now, too. Arise for Bosch. And then... Rise for us. Okay, well, the um, the Seek technically died there, but we're just gonna pretend we raised him and head over. Uh, so we go back the same way we came in, right? With the Chi Shufflins. Um, as long as we don't step on any traps. That should be the fastest way to get back to Arcades. I have to take a cab to do it this way, but I think that's okay. Actually, isn't there a... No, we could take the airship instead of the teleport stone. Wanna go just straight south, okay. Sure. Came down for a back use of wine somehow. Not exactly sure what a snake would be doing with that, but okay. I mean, who knows? Maybe these guys have an entire culture and stuff that we're just not aware of. You guys get all knocked out. That was easy. That wasn't even the way we we're supposed to be going, though. Totally got wrapped around a different location. Go this way instead. Did we get totally distracted? Yeah, looks like we might have gotten a little distracted. I got one follower with me right now. They all might have got distracted. I don't know where Redis is right now. You wanna cast Stona? Uh, Protect's not really gonna cut it there, Ash. Oh, Redis is Redis is full stone right now. He's just full on stoned. Uh, where the hell does Stona go? There it is. Do the same thing. Must have missed it. We are going pretty fast here. There we go. Redis is back. Great. I wonder if that's relaxing at all or if it hurts. I think being turned to stone hurts at all. I mean, I would hope it would give you, like, some restful... Probably doesn't give you any sleep. Probably, like, losing time. Not quite, like, blackout drunk, but, like... You know, being, like, knocked unconscious. So it's probably not restful at all. I mean, at least you're not actually aware, so there's something to that, but it's not, not great. Board the straw, we'll go back to Arcades. And this guy's in our... in the shop. Assuming, of course, he actually made it back at all. I mean, we were right there with him. We weren't able to talk to him because he got knocked out. So, see yeah, how well this works. At the last time we helped somebody with the hunt, and they were actually, you know, they were actually alive at the end of it. To be fair, this guy did just charge in, like, at random, so... Probably should have hung back. I think I want to go this way? Yeah, this will work. This will work. Actually, don't know what kind of shop this is that we're going to right now. We've been to one of these before. I just don't remember what it sells. We should probably look at their wares. I mean, this is kind of a low-level shop, but I have something. 
Is it just... It might just be accessories, though. Up here. What do you sell? Oh, techniques. That's right. Yeah, okay. We've, we've already done all these. Plus a thousand needles is sitting somewhere on a shelf, which I doubt. Was you actually got anything here? You have anything I care about? You do not. Yeah, okay. Well, alright. So then we talk to... Oh, good. The guy is still alive. Huzzah. This is what it feels like to win a battle. Not bad at all. Thanks, boy. Okay. 3,500 gil. Not as easy to impress and lazy as I thought. I think I may need to kill something for myself before they start appreciating me. You know, and also, maybe, you know, live through a battle. Without having to be raised from the dead. That's probably a good first start as well. I don't think there's a... Yeah. Yeah, there's no actual bar in this town. Is it really a town? It doesn't have a bar? Like, two things a town needs, I think, to be called a town. A bar and a library. If you don't have both of those things, I don't think you can really call yourself a town. If you just have a bar, you're kind of like a... Maybe a truck stop or something, you know? Some place people go to, to drink, but maybe not to stay. When you have a library, people are actually like in the town. They're invested. You know, their taxes pay for this thing. They're gonna they're gonna stick around. You just have a library, not a bar. I think that'd be okay. I mean, it seems unlikely, but I think that would be okay. I think it would still work out. And I need to talk to this lady, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we go back to the port town of Valfenheim Port. Eventually, there you go. No, no, over there. There you go. Okay, and now we can start another hunt. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but we'll see. I'll put a find our way there, maybe. Alright, so our hunt person uh, is not here. What? Oh, no, there it is. Okay, no, I see the bar. Okay. For some reason, I was confused by all the icons. We want to go this way. Wish the shops would level up with us so that I could actually, like, say, oh, yeah. Need to go to visit Technique Shop that, you know, we haven't been to in forever because we bought everything that they possibly have for us now. At some point, we'll find good techniques. I think we're missing a few. Okay, let's see what the hunt is here. We've got a Goliath. Sure. Just call me David. Petitioner's Barong. Or tell the most compelling monster from a passing adventure. I wanted to find out more, but I'll be using help. Sure, so to talk to him. So he's in Nalbina Town. Okay, right near the airship repository. Okay, great. So let's go talk to him. Go back to the airship. And the biggest deal with those guys, whether they're called Goliath or anything else, is that typically they like buffing themselves. But you can always dispel it. And as long as that dispel stays on for the entire fight, it shouldn't be too bad. Ah, uh, airship. So over here. Ancient Patrick, your counter for Petrify hits zero, but you were inflicted. Stop before it stunned the character. That character will take zero down for physical attacks. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Thank you, Axel. Okay, so we want to go to... Uh, no, be no fortress. Yeah, over here. There we go. There's got to be a way to keep rid of these cutscenes. Eventually. I mean, they're, they don't take very much time, and they are technically a loading screen as well. Everything's a loading screen. That's the secret of software development right there, is everything's a loading screen. 
suddenly seems to be taking a lot of time. They like have unnecessary cutscenes. It turns out, nope, they did that for your benefit to try to ease you into accepting that things take time. But even like that particular thing right there was probably a loading strain. Okay, so we want to talk to. Do we want to talk to? Like right near here, right? Yeah, like right, like next to here. Not inside the shop, but like next to the shop. So like around here? Oh, dude, there's a guy right there. And why is facing away from us? Oh, okay, so that last adventure was good, quite good. My pages grow in number. Ha ha ha. I don't know how to verbalize that. Uh, maybe? Something like that? You! You were watching me! You're here to send me back to my workshop, are you? What's this? You're just an ordinary adventurer? Ah, yes, an adventurer. Adventurer. Could I chew your ear for a moment? I promise not to hold you long. As long as you're not literally gonna chew my ear? Yeah, it's fine. I'm a writer of bestiaries by hobby and trade. Now, being is an excellent place to pick the brains of wandering adventurers as they pass. The trouble comes in learning of more rare, powerful beasts. Half of who see them run, and the other half never make it back. Quite a quandary. But the idea struck me. Petition hunts for these monsters. Not bad, eh? Oh, you hear about my bell for Goliath? Splendid, splendid. You're willing to go and fight this monster, eh? Sure. There's a good lad. I'll tell you what I know, though it's precious little. Goliath is a golem that walks the halls of the Necro Hall of Nobodies. They say it's most easily found venturing from the Deadlands. It's fierce and dangerous, but what's a little danger in exchange for another page to add to my bestiary, eh? Good luck. Okay, well, we've been down there. It's a pain in the ass, but we've been there. It's mostly a pain in the ass because of the traps. Traps are hot garbage. Uh, so the airship's not going to take us there. Um, how much of this have we explored? Let's look at the world map here. So here in... Or over here, the Necro Hall of this. Yeah, we don't actually have a teleport stone for this. So we'd have to come in from... The, he said the Deadlands, right? We have a teleport stone for the Deadlands? Yes, we do. Okay, good. So we can at least go in from there. Then it's only two screens of the Necro Hall. Well, three, really. That's not so bad. Okay. There's going to be a shit ton of traps, but that's just how it goes. Um, let's see where exactly this is. See if he's right about it being, like, right next to the, the Deadlands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's dead simple. Ah, oh, shit. That's actually really bad. So, that first little bit, when we first enter from the Deadlands, is covered in traps. And if we're not careful, we're not going to be able to disarm all those traps. Well, basically by walking on top of them, but whatever. We're not going to be able to disarm those traps easily before we tackle him. So, technically, yes. We'll be able to get to him faster by going from the Deadlands. But it's also going to be more deadly. The thing is, if we don't do that, if we go in from the Salika Wood, it's going to be a long trip. Hmm. We do have a save point. We do have a save point in the Deadlands. So we could go there, try it this way. And if it doesn't work, then we retreat, go back to the Salika Wood, and work the way the hard way. Yeah, okay, we'll try it this way. We'll try it the recommended way, see how this works. Okay, so first things first, we gotta go to the Teleport Stone. So this way. But yeah, this is gonna be... gonna be tough. Oh, there was a better way to get rid of those traps. There's got to be a nice, easy way to get rid of the traps that I'm just not seeing, but... Yeah, let's teleport over. The Deadlands. Okay. 
Okay. Save here. Okay. And then we head north. Right? Yes. We head north. Okay. Float goes over traps? Yeah, but we don't know float. I don't think we have anybody who knows float. That's a green magic that we have not found in any shop. So there might be a way to do it, but we probably have to find it somewhere. I have no idea where it's at. Uh, I'm trying to go straight north, but that's not going to work. All right. Hey, okay, great. You guys drop easy. That's encouraging, at least. We do... Do any of us know float? I don't think we any of us do. Um, let's see. That'd be... That'd probably be Penelo as a red mage, probably. If anybody. Get ready to you. Let's go get Penelo here. Okay, Penelo. So you're our best shot, really. Yeah, we know decoy and all. That's it. We went somewhere else there, but no. No, we don't know float. Oh, give me, give me Ash as a leader there. There we go. Is it? Oh, it's time magic. I mean, that'd be Bosch. Bosch is our time mage. Let's see if Bosch knows it. Nope, no float here at all. We don't float down here apparently. Dang goblins, I went too far up. Just go, yeah, there we go, murder them all. That's the problem with some of these magics is that they're not available in stores and so you have to go hunt for them. But chances are we're already supposed to have it since they've given us like a shit ton of traps for this next area. There you go, bunch there. But yeah, the chances are it's buried somewhere in some chest and I would just have no idea. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep, yep, that hurt. That hurt a lot. We can get Penelo back in a minute. We can get Bosch back as well. Crap. Yeah, so there's a chest somewhere with it. I probably have to look at a. I'll probably have to look at a guide to see where it's at. Uh, get Bosch back as well. Thank you. It's funny. That's true for most of the time magics. Apparently, haste we had to find in a chest somewhere. And now floats. Okay, we need just need to go one more screen over. I guess we could hmm probably be better if we find float first. Yeah, maybe it would be better if we find float first. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, so according to the wiki, in Final Fantasy XII, purchased an Arrowed Village. Um, what? Purchased an Arrowed Village? No. We've bought everything from Arrowed Village. There's no way. Um, do 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 do. I, no. There's no. Hold on. We. It's Arrowed Village again. Okay, so apparently it is available in a shop. According to the wiki, it's available for 2,800 gold from a shop in Arrow Village. How the hell we missed it, I have no idea. Right, so we're gonna go back to the we're gonna go back to the teleport stone. We're gonna go to Arrow Village and we're gonna try to buy it. But if the wiki's lying to us, I'll be very upset. Right, you're all dead. Or not. Dead yet? Thank you. Just die horribly. Thank you. Um, okay. So we go back this way. Don't step on that. Oh, we somehow we missed it. I don't know how that works. Okay, so far so good. Nobody step on any traps, please. Trying to work our way through. Okay, great. Easy. Simple. Got the goblins. That guy had, like, no health to begin with. How did that happen? 
Go this way now. Okay, but the wiki says... That's the American version look of Zodiac Age? Oh, is it different? Maybe it is different. Um... Oh, there we go. The spell can be found in the Chisha Uplands. Okay. See, that's... You're right. That was totally different. Yep. Okay, so it'd be found in the Chisha Uplands, but where? Uh, did you do, do quests, treasures? Um, diamond amulet lets you find things, right? That's what we have. But we want to find floats. Okay, so it's in Realm of the Elder Dream. In the teacher uplets. Okay. We need to go to teacher uplets first. And look at the world map here and see exactly where Realm of the Elder Dreams is. Chosen Path, Up Highlands, Fields of Eternity. There we go. Realm of Elder Dreams, basically next to the Fawn Coast. Okay, so we go north and then west. And I thought it was all over here, but maybe we missed it somehow. Oh, okay. We missed that. Uh, Red's a little distracted right now. Red is blind. That's not helpful. Come over here. What's up, Red? Here we go. You want to go ahead and cast Blindiga on this guy? Yeah. Just in case, we we'll go ahead and look at these treasures, too. Uh, not that way, but down here. Oh, uh, you're saying Opshack Rise. Um, is the wiki lying to me, then? Do I trust Twitch chat or the wiki? I mean, really, I'd rather trust Twitch chat. I'd rather believe that Twitch chat wouldn't lie to me. So, if it's up check rise, then it'd be down here. Okay, well, it's only one more screen over, so sure, let's do that. Uh, go up this way. Are you looking at the official guide? Okay, well, that's definitely more telling than that. It'd be funny if the guide got it wrong. I mean, it does happen. I've had that happen a few times with, um... What game was that? I mean, it was old. It was, like, you know, back in the days of, like, printed guides, right? Back in, like... I, mean, I guess they still do printed guides, but back when they were more popular. Back when Game Facts was a thing. Um, I think it was like Morrowind or something. Like the printed guide had like a bunch of mistakes. And later editions of it came out with like an errata that was like 20 pages long or something crazy like that. So I want to go south. I suppose we can look at this just to be on the safe side. It'd be funny to just find it randomly. Chances are it's tucked away. Okay, there's a big guy there who we can't... I don't think anybody here can fight. Yeah, nobody else can touch him right now. Uh, Penelo, go away. Bring in Fron so she can actually do damage. Oh, or he'll just kamikaze and die. That's also possible. I wish Redis was a monk. So we'd be able to attack people to fly at us here. Okay, Elphic Rise. Here we go. So somewhere in here, there's a trap there so we can test it out first thing once we get it. Somewhere around here is going to be a tucked away treasure. 
probably literally like tucked away. Probably somewhere we don't even think about going. I'm gonna smack them all. Where have I not been? Like where have I where do I usually not go? Trouble is we bought a map for this area, so it's a little hard to tell. Oh, Redis can hit the flying foe? Oh great, so he must be like part monk then. Maybe that's why that guy died so fast. I've definitely been over here. I mean, it could be tucked away here, and I just don't know it. How do we explore this whole area, though? Although, it could be that I gave up on getting some of these treasures, because they turn out to be, like, mostly garbage. Like, that's just a potion, which we don't really care about. Looking around, making sure I don't see an exclamation point over our heads, but so far, nothing. This is like 2,000 damage. Redis is pretty good. It's getting better. Okay, there's a frog down there. Trapped just in the middle of nowhere. Hey, there's float. We got it. We got it. Okay, so now that we have floats, go back. So we came. Probably didn't need to go that whole way around. That's okay. And now we go back to the uh, teleport stone. Eventually. Uh, how the hell do we get down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me all you like, buddy. Does not matter. And yeah, this is the right way. Okay, okay. we go north. Yeah. Okay, great. So now that we have float, we can. Okay, we're gonna test this out. Wash. Be funny if we don't actually have the license, but we have plenty of license points, so we'll just see if this works. Oh, there we go. We have float. How would it actually go for everybody? Oh, it's practically Flotiga. Look at that. Look at that. We're walking right over it. Nothing happens. So that's fantastic. Okay, that's great. That's gonna help us with the fight for sure. Birds usually good about their guys being right. Well, good. How do we can depend on something in this crazy world? Boy, float seems to last for a little while too. That's fantastic. And okay, so we go down this way. Sure, why not? Fight the frog. And just go over here. We don't need to fight the flying guy. Fight the other frog, sure. Don't get distracted, anybody. We're, we're on a path. I just, you totally got distracted. I told you not to do that. I told you not to do that. Don't get distracted. Going on a hunt. Why we're here. Okay, so we go use a teleport stone. And we teleport back to the Deadlands. Hopefully we just take this guy out in a single blow, but that seems unlikely. What I mean by not not a single blow, but a sing the first attempt. We're going to save. Chances are they'll give us an autosave just before the fight, but just in case. Okay, we just go north, east, and east again. Okay. North, I said. Okay, so float is done. We're done with float. Um, there's traps in this area, but not too many. Rank 6 is going to be a butt. Yeah, he's totally going to be a butt. We're doing okay with rank 6, and with Red, Red is in our party. It should be a little easier. But he's gonna have some debuffs for sure. It's gonna suck. Come on, treasure. There we go. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go this way. We also wanna make sure we don't have any ads. We are gonna have a bunch of these little goblin guys at the very beginning of the of the dungeon. That's gonna suck too. We're gonna have a lot of just 
area of effect oh. nonsense that we need to deal with first. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, 216 gill, not too shabby. But yeah, it's these guys. And they're even like buffed version of these guys. I think these guys are bad, just wait. We're gonna get even worse. Okay, there's a trap right there. Um, Bosh, can you go ahead and give me float right now? Just so we don't set this off. Nice. I need to probably cast that again here. Go. Let's pull out a black mage with Lazaga. There's an idea. Yeah, let's pull out like um, pull out Vaughn. He's got a pretty good damage anyway. Oh, okay. Hello. There. Murdered. Fantastic. You guys too, because we need all these spirits we can possibly muster here. Oh, that hurts. Actually, did not hurt us. Did not hurt us. Possibly because we're floating. Nobody step on any traps. Keep on curing their ash. Thank you. Okay. And it is, in fact, this way. Okay. But before we go in here, let's go ahead and get Vaughn in here, and we'll trade out for Fron, because Fron's Largely garbage. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, Vaughn, do you have a gambit for ice? You do not. Let me go ahead and do this right here. This guy's actually, like, weak to anything. I want to go ahead and use it. Okay. And Bosch is, some for some reason, not floating. That's weird. Oh, because it floats about oh, done. Anyway, okay, that's fine. Go ahead and float again. We're gonna need it for this. Okay, here we go. Yep, just here are the traps. No one's surprised. Big red mark over there. I'm gonna pull over on this side. Get rid of these guys first. Okay, Vaughn's a little distracted, but he's okay. Yeah, big guy over there. There's like one more. Yeah, take care of this guy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Now we go nice and easy here. Um, let's just make sure there's nobody over like here. I don't think there is. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay, chances of ads are low. That's great. I'm going to say go ahead and cast, um, cast haste here. On Radis here, because he's pretty good. Get him up, and then. Like, we start this. Let's go. Disboga first thing on our big guy, Goliath. And we send Redis in to do the first blow. Okay, he's dispelled. Here we go. Maybe when he sounded like a fourth, we just do a bunch of missed attacks. I mean, now's not exactly the time for Libra here, Vaughn. Vaughn's not doing any kind of magic damage. I don't think this guy is actually weak. Vaughn, do you want to go ahead and try, like, Blizzaga or something here? Okay, Infuse is not exactly great, but sure. Casting Gravity, which is a problem. A okay, Karaja all around. Yeah, Blizzaga didn't seem to do much there. This guy is gonna be a butt. Gravity sucks. But it's not at least it's not Gravaga. Just use up all your mana here, Ash. Just keep on using Karaja as much as possible. Try not to get too close though. Um let's see. Bosh, give me some disablement here. I don't think we can stop him. That's probably not gonna happen, but. Uh, maybe bleed him? He's down to half. That's something. Reed's almost gonna drop here, though. Oh, there we go. Karaja helps. Yeah, bleed's not really working. I mean, he's going down. 
If we use mist on him right here, yeah, let's actually use the mist on him. He's probably out. Here we go. He's probably dead already, but this will this will solidify it. We should be able to get a good eight off here. We do it well. I want some of this. I don't think we have any mists that are ice centric here, but that should be all right. And usually with this group, with this particular party configuration, I can usually get somewhere around 10. And of course, we actually get a mischarge off. There we go. I wouldn't think any of this heals him either, so I think we're going to be good. No matter what damage this is. We're gonna get to seven for sure. Basically a glorified Aroga right there. Air damage for days. He's probably dead right now. Like right now anything else is probably extra. And I can't I couldn't even get a mischarge up. That's too bad. Didn't even get to eight. It's alright, seven seven. Please be dead. Pretty pleased with sugar on top. Be dead. Just be super dead right now. Oh, not quite. Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, Bosh, maybe you could do something really funny now and, like, I don't know, stop him? Seems unlikely, but maybe. Try it out. He is definitely not stopped. Yeah, boss characters like this, we probably can't really stop. Or just go for damage. That's about all we can do. He's, he's gonna die, though. This is it. The mist helped. Wow, that was a hell of a... Wow. Boss nearly died. He had, like, one HP and did a counter and then managed to live until Ash could heal him. But holy crap. Yeah, there he goes. There goes Bosch. Okay, well, bye, Bosch. Um... Bring in Bouthy here now. Come on, he just has like a sliver. We'd have Bouthy here do some mist, and that might take him out. That's why Ash moved forward. Feeling more. Okay, now Vaughn's gone. Bye, Vaughn. Uh, now we bring Penelo in. While we have reserves. <laughs> Oh, there we go. It finished. Thank goodness. Boy, the freaking narrow as hell there. But it worked out. We got it. Phew. All right. Well, now we just have to turn this in. Uh, we should probably raise Bosch, because otherwise we have, we're not going to be able to float over the traps. Uh, so, can you do that for me, please? Yeah, rise. Bosch. Okay, great. So he's gotten conscious again. Bring him back. And then you make sure to cast Float on us. Uh, whenever you have the actual magic ability, I suppose you don't actually have that yet. There we go. There we go. We're free. Huzzah! Man, these this area was so troublesome before floats. Now this is this almost trivializes traps now. Which I'm okay with. There's just such a sea change. Definitely grab that. 
barrel coat? I don't know. Sounds like armor to me. Okay, we want to go, yeah, back to the teleport stone. We just need to turn this in, and then we're done. Of course, we also need to murder pretty much everybody. Here. There we go, much better. Go right over that trap, and we just need to, like, wrap around. Deadlands are very, very windy. You're dead. More goblins. Probably shouldn't have ashes or lead here, but too late. Redis is vicious. Just smacks him with his sword. No, no style, no substance, just pop. No subtlety at all. Alright, so we go where now? Totally forgot where we picked this up. Okay, back to Nalbina. Right, Barong. Okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, so teleport. We go back to Nalbina. There it is, Nalbina Fortress. Okay, and it should be just straight up. And we just talk to him, that should be it. As a level 6 hunt, that wasn't so bad. I think we could have leveled up a couple more times. I think that we would have been able to just smack him and it would have been a lot easier. He definitely has some resistances that I'm not used to, but that's okay. It worked out. Got right here. Hey, bud. Oh, ho! You've slain the Goliath. Tell me everything about it. Don't leave out a thing. Yes, yes. Amazing. I've not seen or heard the like. Ah, Jovi. What time? You listen to this. Yes, Mr. Barong, what is it? More news of your secret bestiary? No need to be sarcastic, Joby, but yes, it's about the bestiary. I found the out of that page on Goliath. Incredible, no? He's the one who helped me gather the information I needed. Your plan to use hunters worked perfectly. <laughs> I'll never understand that, Joby. Well, I'll show him the bestiary later, I suppose. Never thought I'd see such a rare beast grace the pages of my bestiary. Couldn't be happier. Thanks. Okay, we got a sword called Save the Queen. I think it's a good sword. Looks like a great sword, so if anything, it's going to be good for Bosch. Who deserves a sword, I think? He, he's helped out with Float. Got the Treaty Blade now. He cannot use this yet because it takes great swords too, but it does have a good attack power. It's actually a really good attack power. Great swords too. Let's see if we can get the license for that. Uh, Bosh, there we go. Well, holy crap, we have a lot of licenses right now. We could totally do it, I bet. On the night side. Oh, yeah, there we go. Great swords, too. We can totally pick it up. He won't be able to use a shield, but he'll be able to do massive amounts of damage, which I'm totally okay with. Don't need all the great swords, because why the hell not? Um, and this one here, which is why not? Why not? Okay, it looks like I have a lot of licenses to buy, which I should probably deal with. Um, gonna give him the brand new sword, though. There we go. That's an amazing attack power. That should be pretty awesome. That's over today. Thanks for watching. This has been Final Fantasy 12 on PC University or PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.